As we reported to you earlier, this is the greatest week in the history of our American Alpine skiing team. Tamara McKinney of Squaw Valley today clinched the overall Women's World Cup. Earlier this week, it was Phil Mayer of the men's. Our Tim Ryan and Billy Kidd followed Phil run by run throughout his winning week. In 1981, Phil Mayer beat the pressure and the competition to win his first World Cup overall in the final race of the Tour at Lock, Switzerland. Then he duplicated the feat in 1982 at Vengen, winning the slalom and wrapping up the title just two months into the season. His arch rival both years, Ingmar Stenmark, winner of three World Cups and more cup races than any skier in history. And again this year, Stenmark was Mayer's chief threat to his crown. Ingemar Stenmark, I think, in the past has really dominated the sport of ski racing, and uh, especially in giant slalom and slalom. And the last couple of years, I think he's lost his touch a little bit, or people have caught up with him, or they're, um, they're capitalizing on mistakes he makes, or they're not making mistakes. Actually, I'm not racing against anybody. I'm just racing against the watch, against the time. I'm trying, I'm trying to ski as fast as possible. And so they stood 1-2 in the overall standings coming into Monday's GS at Aspen. Two kings of the hill in search of one throne. Hello again, everyone. Tim Ryan and Billy Kidd here in Vail, Colorado. And Billy, what an exciting week it has been for American skiing. Especially for Phil Mayer, Tim, because in America's downhill, he had a very respectable ninth place, but still had not had a victory. He needed to win a race in order to win the overall World Cup, and he did just that on Monday in Aspen. It was really exciting because he won the race. He won his third World Cup overall title. Well, then, of course, he just came across the mountain to Vail and won again here on Tuesday. Let's go back and look at both races. This was the scene in Aspen, Colorado. Heavy snows had delayed the races, and Phil Mayer was hoping to win his first World Cup race of the year in front of his American fans. Phil started right behind his brother yeah. Steve, who posted the time to beat of 117.4. Come on, Phil! And the fact that Steve had a good run, I think, gave Phil some confidence. I know that he was unhappy with his giant slalom skiing as he came into this race, but he's skiing well here. I think he's happy to hear those American fans cheering for him. What drive and determination he has pushing through this rather difficult track here today. Driving for the finish line, 115.60. And Philip Mayer has taken the lead over Brother Steve in this first run at Aspen. Next on the course, out of the fifth position in the starting gate, Mark Giardelli from Luxembourg. Well, you wonder how somebody from Luxembourg could ski this well. Luxembourg doesn't have any ski areas, and he is not really from Luxembourg. He's from Austria, but he had trouble with the Austrian coaches and decided to ski for Luxembourg. He had some good success last year. He was third in the GS standings. Here he is driving for the finish, and a good time for Giardelli. 115.77 moves him ahead of Steve Mayer into second place. Ingmar Stenmark on the course. The Swedish arch rival of Philip Mayer. Well, he likes racing in the United States. Over here, few people recognize Ingmar Stenmark. He can walk around town, he can be relaxed, and he can ski well here. He's going very well. At the bottom of the hill, Stenmark. Driving for the finish, Stenmark will have a good time of 115.73. Will not catch Phil in the first run, but that moves him into second place ahead of Giardelli. So here's how they stand after the first run. Phil Mayer 13 one hundredths of a second ahead of Ingmar Stenmark. And remember, they invert the order of the five skiers who finished in that order of the first run. So Mark Giardelli is the third skier out here in run number two. Well, he skis really aggressively here on his second run. You watch him start his turn way before the gate. He gets really close to the gate, drives his hands forward, try to get that weight on the outside ski, make it carve around you so you can see how close he gets to the gates. You've got to keep that momentum going. He's skiing very aggressively down here in the bottom part of the course. Banging another gate on the way to the bottom. Mark Giardelli in a time of 115.96 will push him into first place ahead of Max Eulen. Total time of 231.73 for Giardelli. Here comes Denmark and his heat line. Boy, he was pushing right there. He would like to win this race on Phil Mayer's home territory. You can watch him. He always makes it look so smooth, but look at how his skis bounce up on this, off the snow now. He is really trying to push, make speed in these last five or six gates before the finish. He needs a 116 flat to move ahead of Giardelli in the first place. 
pushing for the finish, Stenmark. 116.36, and that will not push him into top spot. Instead, he stands second, 232.09 for Ingmar Stenmark. And now, fifth out of the gate on the course, Phil Mayer, with a great chance to win here today. You saw him just hit his hand on the snow right there. He doesn't have a lot of finesse right now. He hasn't been practicing enough, but what he's doing is going on determination. He knows he wants to win this race knows that it'll give him the overall World Cup title for the third time, and he is going for it. He is mowing the gates down. He needs 116-13 to beat Giardelli, and over the finish line he comes in 115-89. Phil Mayer. Phil Mayer has moved into first place with a 231.49. And waiting for him in the outrun, the man he has foiled again this year, the gracious Swede Ingmar Stenmark. And so the final standings, Phil Mayer, is the winner here today. Mark Giardelli was second. Ingmar Stenmark was third. And joining now the three-time World Cup overall champion, our own Billy Kidd. It must feel great now, especially winning three World Cups in a row. Um, it's uh, something that, I don't know, you don't really think about it until it's all over. Uh, last year I went into the season just hoping to, to win races and I end up with a second World Cup. And uh, be, everybody kind of looks at you know, they say you have to defend the title, but uh, I don't feel that way. I, just, I feel you have to go out and ski race, and uh, when the end of the season rolls around, there's a new World Cup winner, and this year happened to be mine again. Um, it's, it's great. Well, even though there are races remaining, Phil Mayer, the overall World Cup champion, and Americans loved it. quite over. We'll be back with the Vale Giant Slalom in just a moment. We are back in Vale, Colorado, where falling snow greeted the World Cup Tour, as did one of the largest crowds ever to watch a ski race in the United States. And the crowd included former President Gerald Ford, a great ski fan and skier himself. On the course, Ingmar Stenmark in the first run trying to beat the time set by Steve Mayer of 130.69. And of course, Denmark with Phil Mayer having wrapped up the overall title is still trying to win this year's Giants Fall of Ground. And he can do it on this last steep pitch down here too. This is the kind of course that Stenmark likes. He said this course at Vail is one of the best on the World Cup circuit. There's flats and then steeps and he skis well here. And he racks up a time of 130.09 and that puts him into first place ahead of Steve Mayer. And now Phil Mayer on the course and skiing two positions behind Stenmark with a time to beat of 130.09. Well, he's skiing well at the end of the year here. Remember, at the beginning of the season, he concentrated on downhill to win points in the combined. That's where you win additional points by combining downhill and slalom results, and Stenmark doesn't run downhill. But Phil Mayer runs Giant Slalom well right now. He sure does. 130.13. And that will be good for second place here on the first run at Vail. And so the standings after one. Stenmark followed by Mayer and Steve Mayer. Billy Kidd talked to Stenmark about next year. Do you think you can win next year? No, I don't think I can win the overall if I don't race the combined races. And I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Back for the second run, Max Hulin of Switzerland is posted the leading time. Here is Phil Mayer on the course. On Monday in Aspen, he got his giant slalom win. He's got his World Cup overall title. And now Phil Mayer is relaxed, confident, and you watch him ski, especially as he comes over this last steep pitch. This is Phil Mayer at his best, driving at the gates, driving his hands forward, Getting in his stuck position to win a few hundreds and pushing, having a great race. 132.87 for Phil Mayer, and that pushes him into first place with a total time of 303 even. Now he can look up the hill and watch as Ingmar Stenmark tries to catch him again. And the time that Stenmark needs, Phil Mayer is 132.91. Well, here he comes onto this last section of the course, the last few turns on the flat. Now it breaks over onto the steep, and this is where Stenmark is at his best. As he comes around, he makes those round, smooth turns. He points them down at those last couple gates into the finish line. Stenmark's time, 133.05, not good enough. And Phil Mayer, with a total time of 303 even, has won his second consecutive World Cup Giants slalom. There he is with his brother Steve. 
at the finish line. And what a week it has been. The ever gracious Denmark is there to congratulate him one more time. So the final results, Mayor Stenmark and Max Eulen. Phil, congratulations again today. Thank you, Billy. That's got to feel good. You must be really excited about racing in the U.S. Uh, it's always great to come to the States, and we always seem to ski very well here, and it's great to have two back-to-back. To -back. Engemar, how do you feel today? Oh, Phil was, he was skiing better than me, and it's nothing, nothing to t talk about. Well, you've got something to talk about in that you take the GS lead in the World Cup. You've got to be happy about that. Yeah, I'm happy about that, but Phil has a good chance to win. Well, Phil has already clinched the overall title, but the giant slalom title is still up for grabs with Stenmark leading. So for Billy Kidd, this is Tim Ryan saying so long from Vail, Colorado. So what a job Phil Mayer did, and this afternoon, Lake Louise, Canada, he finished 13th in the downhill competition. Remember, Stenmark does not take part in those races, and so it was Helmut Hoffleiner of Austria. He was the winner. The great Franz Klammer was second. And again, 13th place goes to Phil Mayer. Two other U.S. skiers did well. Mike Brown of Vail, he finished 18th. Bill Johnson of Van Nuys, California, he was 20th. And, of course, that will be the site of the 1988 Winter Olympics up there outside of lovely Calgary, Alberta. Now, Phil Mayer's place in ski racing history is secure. Only one skier, Gustavo Terni of Italy, has ever won more overall World Cup titles. And Mayer's season is still not over because both he and Stenmark, as Tim pointed out, have shots at the giant slalom title. That will be decided next weekend in Japan.